Hey guys, so my flower stalk on my Nepenthes ventrata started opening up and these little pods in here had seeds in them to my surprise. I didn't think it was fertile, but apparently it is and these seed pods split open and there were seeds inside. They've been falling out all over the plants below them, but I've started collecting them and I'm cutting them off right now. I'm going to split them open and take the seeds out and sow them. So the first thing you want to do when uh, collecting these seed pods, what I like to do, I just like to cut them off. Just like this, um, with scissors at the base, that way you're not really like pulling them apart. I'm just gonna grab this little container right here, set it under, and uh, to catch the seed pods or any seeds that fall. Because once these seed pods are open, seeds will fall everywhere. So we're just gonna cut these off. It's kinda hard to do when you're holding a camera, but I'm doing my best. I'll take that one. And see it lands right in there with the others that I'm cutting off. So you may be asking, what do I able to tell when seed pot is open? And that is the answer is in the question there. Because you see, these seed pods are open and they're starting to turn brown, but these ones that are not ready, they're green, are starting to turn a bit yellow, but uh, they're, they're gonna open soon. So, you know, just gotta wait it out. So now I'm just gonna finish cutting these ones that are ready off and I'm gonna take them inside and show you how to split them open and harvest the seeds. My god, I look like black. Look, my thumb. Um, this is our first seed pod. As you can see, it's already splitting open a super tiny bit, so we're just gonna take it, and it comes in these like little like four parts, maybe three, I don't know, I'm not good at counting either. Um, we're just gonna take our little fingers and pull that open, and as you can see, there's seeds there inside. So now, we're just gonna take our little seedling bowl, not seedling bowl, these are seeds, um, because they are not seedlings. And then we're just gonna open it up and dump them out. Um, they like to hide in these little grooves between the little, like, yeah, I'll show you right there, actually. They like to hide in these little grooves because it's just the way that God made these little flowers. So, um, here we go. As you can see on this one right here, there are oodles of seeds in it, and it's just bursting open. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull this apart, and you want to do this over your little seedling collection tray. And you can see all the seeds just falling out of there. Give you a close-up shot. See those seeds there. Yep. You can actually see my fingers pretty well. But what you want to do is just brush these seeds out of these pods and it will take some time. This is the most, you know, labor-intensive part. Um, yeah. I, I don't really know if there's a better method to doing this. I think this is just, you're gonna have to go back to the uh, bare essentials of life and just do it the way with your fingers. So just, you know, get with it. There's always gonna be seeds left in here, so if you can't get them out, don't worry. Just throw them maybe in an Nepenthes pot or in a sphagnum culture. Whatever seeds are in there, they may sprout, they may not sprout, you don't know, because you can't predict the future, we're not Raven Baxter here. But you will have a chance of getting extra seedlings if you do that. Hashtag pro tip. I'm just gonna finish pulling this apart, give it a good rub. Um, I know that some of you who have done this before are going to complain that the oils from your hand get on the seeds and they can prevent them from growing. I really have never seen any problem with that. All the seeds that I have sown have sprouted when I've handled them like this. So I, I mean I, it's a precaution if you want to like wear latex gloves and make life really hard for like three or four hours that will work but um, I just want to take the easy way. I really don't have all day to do this. Just can keep going with it you know. Um, Grab more seed pods and just sprinkle them in our seeds container. I'm just gonna split open a couple more of these and uh, then I'm gonna show you, once we're all done, show you all the seeds that we've collected. So here's our final product, uh, probably over a thousand Nepenthes seeds. Uh, as you can see, like right there at the very tip of my thumb right there. Um, it's hard to see on camera, but that is one seed right there. And these piles to turn this like dark color you're probably gonna have to have a lot of seeds in those just to prove to you how many seeds there are. Um, there, there's so many seeds, oh my gosh. I will be attempting to sow these soon and I will make a sewing tutorial 
a lower cost sewing tutorial because the last one that I made was with pots and all this special medium. I'm just going to use what I have lying around to sew these in my greenhouse. So stick around and subscribe to see that. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.